Is it the Senate president that is holy to take over from Tinubu? Hmm. I don't believe that. The Senate president himself has cases to answer. If not, they have bought the judiciary over. We are in a regime of criminality that gives award to criminals. I wonder the kind of generation that will come after them. Hmm. With Akpabio, you won't get credible elections because they are all birds of the same feather. If both president and vice president resign, who becomes president automatically? I am very sure that some true obedience will be highly disappointed with the way their vice presidential candidate is ranting lately. There is a deep evil root of tribalism in this country. It is a shame if it is a shame if the tribes hate themselves. When it comes to politics, they can't everyone go their separate ways. Then what exactly is the criteria to live together? If you are against a certain tribe to rule, then why not leave them to go? Good day everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel, Everyday People's Voice. A media platform where we hold leadership accountable and we will not trade the right to press freedom and free speech for a piece of cake. We are also dedicated to the objective coverage of Nigerian breaking news in politics, business, governance and current affairs. Our mission is to provide seed fast and quality news reports. Our, our, our main criteria is that we will hold leaders accountable for every gross misconduct. Once again, I want to say thank you all for tuning in. But before I go further, if this is your first time of coming across our YouTube channel, please be so kind to subscribe, like, and share our videos. Thank you again for staying tuned. Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed, the vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party, has made a bold call for a fresh presidential election, urging President Bola Tinubu and Vice President Kashim Shetima to step down from their position. Oh my God. According to our correspondent, Baba Ahmed emphasized that Senate President Goswi Akbabio should be entrusted with conducting a new presidential election in the wake of their resignation. Ha! My country people, now you will see this man they talk so. And I should say this man, not before sleeping, they can't talk this one so. <laughs> because look who you they can't talk say, make him be <laughs> the new INEC Oga Senate President. Will be, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Anyway. Baba Amen firmly asserted that the 2023 presidential election had seen the fraudulent swearing in of Tinubu and Shetima. As a result, the Labour Party would not entertain any collaboration with what he perceives as an illegitimate government. He voiced his sentiment stating, can Tinubu and Shatima just resign and let the Senate president conduct another election? They were fraudulently sworn in and, will, and we will not work with an illegitimate government. If it is not constitutional, we are not touching it. <laughs> Baba Ahmed, you sure say not before sleep, you wake up when they talk so. Wish money. They won't take do rerun. You don't know how many billion they use for this election just as so. 
I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't want to talk too much. Make I just make I just tell my people which you talk. You see also. These remarks from Baba Ahmed came after a press conference by the Labour Party's presidential candidate, Peter Obi, who accused both the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and the Supreme Court of incompetence in their handling of election matters. I think we all saw it play out. Meanwhile, Labour Party's vice presidential candidate, Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed, has said that the Supreme Court did not affirm the victory of Bola Ahmed Tinubu contrary to the general belief. Whoa. According to the former federal lawmaker, the Apex Court merely upheld what he described as the illegality declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission. Neck. Dati Baba Ahmed stated this when he appeared as a guest on Arise TV on Monday evening, hours after his boss, Peter Obi, addressed the press on the outcome of the judicial process in the aftermath of the election. He said they had rejected the Supreme Court judgment and did not accept it as a valid ruling. Peter Obi had gone to the apex court to challenge the ruling of the presidential election petition tribunal, which upheld INEC's declaration of Tinubu as the winner of the election. The apex court, in its ruling, stood by the PPT decision, affirming Tinubu as the duly elected president. Please quote me on this, says Baba Ahmed. The appeal and Supreme Court did not affirm Tinubu's presidency. They merely upheld the illegalities of INEX declaration. That was said by Dati Baba Ahmed on Arise TV. And he's concluded by saying, We accepted the judgment because it was the last step for His Excellency Peter Obi and I to take. We rejected and did not accept it as a valid judgment. That was from uh, the vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Dati Baba Ahmed. So my country people, Tidubu and uh, Shetima, go step down, make a Senate president do another election, because even though Tidubu go step down. Uh, Obi and Dati no go fi enter until you see the president do another election. I go see you now for my next video.